you guys are aware of this story, right? Gucci Mane decided to just go back to the old Gucci Mane. He sat down and interviewed Charlemagne the God and decided to kind of unload on um, Angela Yee from the Breakfast Club because I think they've got some sort of past beef. I'm not sure what it's about, what it transpired from. It seems as if Gucci Mane is accusing um, Angela Yee of banning him from the Breakfast Club because he rejected her sexual advances when Gucci Mane then went out and kind of sit, spoke about this in public. Angela Lee kind of responded in a disparaging way. He then went, he doubled down and started totally disrespecting her in front of Charlemagne. Now, the issue here I have at hand, apart from the people involved in it, because, you know, getting into people's gossip is not fun or not interesting, is just the idea of, because um, I think DJ Envy mentioned in his post responding to Gucci Mane's threats, you know, which he said he's going to slap him up or step to him when he sees him. He says DJ Envy's a pussy, all this sort of shit, like crazy shit in it. You'd never expect it from Gucci Mane now because he's a changed man, you know, he's got his Beijing and his beard, he's all working out and shit. Like, you don't expect this, but you know, sometimes you you you, you snap in it. When, you, when somebody crosses a line, you have to kind of defend yourself. But it got me thinking about riding out for your team, right? Because I think DJ Envy mentioned it, right? The term riding for your team. Um, and and it's more, it has a lot of correlation towards the scene, right? Streetwear scene, music scene, wherever scene you are in. There is, there comes a time when you have to start to accept or understand that the people that you hang out with in the scene aren't your friends. They might be your scene collaborators. They might be your scene collaborators. And what else could they be? Um, they might be your colleagues of this in the scene, in the workplace of the scene. I don't know. Uh, they might be your partners. Um, yeah, whatever. Those kind of things. Co-workers aren't really flat friends, really, are they? Because, you know, especially some workplaces you go to, when it's lunchtime, everyone runs out on their own. When it's home time, people run out on their own. When you're getting ready, suddenly start, people start stopping and not wanting to get ready the same as you, so they don't have to walk out with you in case you, you talk to them on the way home. You know what I mean? Like, you're not really friends. You know what I mean? You just hang out with each other at work and, and it's only at work. The moment you have, you have the opportunity not to be at work, they won't be. They don't want to be nowhere near you because they've got their own friends to hang out with, right? There can be some rare occasions where you meet some actually real friends, but for the most part, it doesn't really happen that way. So, you have to. There has come a time we have to realize that, right? They're not really my friends, I, but there's also this confusion when they are, right? And so, when you look at the Charlemagne incident and you look at how disrespectful Gucci Man was to Charlemagne's friends or co-workers, it makes you wonder. Should you, as a friend, completely ride with your team and say, look, I can't even do this interview because you have a problem with one of my friends or co-workers. Until you clear it with them, then I can proceed. Or do you just view it as a as a thing of like, they're not really my friends anyway that way, and it's not really a real problem. You have to kind of internalize it and justify yourself in your own head. And nowadays, especially in the whole media, social media, um, content game, it seems that people will just do absolutely anything just to make sure they get the clicks and they get the hits. And I think Charlemagne even said the other day when he shares clips on social media, he says, I just do it for the views, isn't it? I don't really care what people think about it. I just put it up there because it gets more views organically, which is fine. But, you know, again, it makes you think whether or not this is something that they cleared beforehand. Did Charlemagne ask DJ and Angeli if it was okay if they could interview each other, if they could interview Gucci Mane? Because I don't know how I'd feel about this sort of thing, right? I don't know how I'd feel about having my friends sit down with somebody that doesn't like me and hear and let them speak about me in this way right you would hope that they would say hey hey, chill out like you can't speak like that about my friend in front of me this is something i'm cool with or just not including the interview just kind of cut the video out in that respect that would have been cool too but again in this in this era cutting bits out of an interview might make you look a bit more nuts and people might start thinking you're conspiring and there's a weird thing in there but the the clip is fucking hilarious in general but let's just play in general and hear what he has said but the the threats he ensues there and the way that dj mp responded just makes you think like wow the boogie the the, the, the boogeyman in 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 gucci main still is in there if you want to bring out the old gucci main is there if you thought he was a clone i think this video does a good job of kind of um what you call it denying that in some respects that was People gonna see this and be like, he must be banned, cause why they not in the, uh, man, <laughs> why they not in the studio? But for the record, he's not banned. I don't even know where that came from. It came from that punk ass bitch, man. And DJ Envy, he's a <laughs> pussy too. Envy did it too. Envy's pussy, man. Pussy. He was scared. When even scared to come. You know he's scared. Where Jesus he at? Christ. I didn't know he was supposed to be here. He wasn't gonna come. He wasn't gonna come because the day they did that people squirt thing and you wasn't there, mm-hmm. he was there. Him and uh, the girl, whatever. So he ain't had the nuts to come after he did that. I knew it. I wasn't gonna confront him too. I'm gonna say, hey man, you know, you got something to say to me? I just wanna see what he was gonna say. Cause he seemed like he had something he wanted to say to him. 
I don't think it's an issue. So I'm gonna give him his, you know, I'm gonna give him his face to face. Jesus I ain't no man who had no issue. But I do got an issue with him too. I got an issue with him now. I'm gonna step to him. I'm not saying. Just like he stepped to them people were talking about his wife when they came up there. <laughs> yeah. He confronted them. Venus and Meryl. So I'm gonna confront him about what him and Angela did. And if he come at me wrong, I'm gonna slap the shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Well, um, he's definitely laid it out there. But again, I don't know, man. I, I, I'm always friend first, right? I'm always friendship first. But I think when you're in a scene, when you're part of any kind of industry, it just gets murky, man. You think people you're work because I don't. Again, I don't. Sh- I don't think they're friends. I don't think a lot of people in the industry are friends. I just think it's all kind of just you know you work together. Successful show. They in the, they hang out in the morning every single day. Charmaine's been you know segueing into his own little lane he's got his youtube channel set up he did the interview with um kanye west he's doing a lot of solo things he's got that whole mental health marketing drive that he's been uh badgering on about you know he's got his thing that he's doing right um but i just don't know how comfortable i'd be if i saw my friend doing this if i saw my friend sitting down with somebody that clearly doesn't like me that i don't like that all that we clearly have an issue with and allowing them to speak about me in this way it's, it's just especially in public that's just it's a bit fuck it's a bit much isn't it? it's a bit much it's a bit much um no amount of warnings can kind of prepare you for this. I think um, Envy mentioned, oh, yeah, he texted me earlier and told me, you know, that this interview was coming out, right? That he, basically, he'd done it already, and then he, then he texted Envy, like, hey, this interview came out. I'm sure Charmaine w- wasn't to know that he, they, they were going to say these, that Gucci Mane was going to say these things. And also, Charmaine can also say, look, I'm not going to step up to fucking Gucci Mane and tell him that, you know, he should never talk about my friends like this because I don't want to get slapped in the face myself. But there is a kind of honour and morals and dignity that you have to have for yourself and your friends too right i don't think gucci is going to hit you because you're defending your friend you can say respectfully hey i understand you have got you guys have an issue but i'm that's my friend and you can't be really speaking about my friend like that when i'm around in it because i'm sure if i spoke about your friend like this you wouldn't have it either and he and him as a man you will respect that ain't it? i think for the most part but i think most people in the scene in the industry will probably do what charlamagne had would do so i think personally i would say if you are in the industry and this in, in this kind of situation does arise and you end up having to be in a room with somebody that your friend, actual friend, doesn't get along with, I think you should do yourself a favor and maybe step out of the situation. I've done it plenty of myself. Or if they start talking wild about your friend, you know, tell them to chill out, right? Or make it known that you don't agree with what they're saying and that your friend is that's their, that's their your friend they're talking about. Because I think the la- that that is something that goes a long way in terms of friendships. Because when you hear that somebody hasn't held you down or hasn't defended your honor when you weren't there. Nothing kind of crushes you more than that. Than learning that the person that you thought was your friend probably isn't, right? They're just kind of some time-ish. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know. I get I get. he's a scary dude, but bloody hell, man. You can't really let him just go out wild like that against your friend, isn't it, really? But, you know, some people have different motives and stuff. And I guess the, if the views are worth it, then they're worth it. But I couldn't do that, man. I don't think I could live, not live with myself, but I don't think I could be comfortable sitting down with my friend, have, having them know that, you know, I didn't, I didn't make any effort to kind of, you know, squash it in any way shape or form but again you know maybe 